Hi, I'd like to show you how to play Kate Rusby's Underneath the Stars. Uh, it's fairly obvious it's not a standard tuning, so um, I'd, I'd like to show you a way of playing it in uh, what I think is what she uses, is a DAD GBD tuning. So I've taken standard tuning and I've taken my bottom string and tuned it down to a D. I've taken my top string and tuned that down to a D as well. All the other strings remain the same. Okay, she actually pays it in the key of C, so we need to use a capo on the fifth fret, like so. Okay, so the basic chords are a C, as well as C. C sounding chord, an F sounding chord, an A minor seventh sounding chord, and a G sounding chord. Obviously they're more complicated than just basic, basic major chords. So I'll take you through the fingering. So if we start with the first C chord, we need to uh, fret the 10th fret on the 6th string and the 10th fret on the 5th string. Keep the, keep the others open. And we're playing the strings 6, 5, 4, 3 in order. Then to get the F chord, we're actually putting what is a standard C shape on. So that would be the 8th fret on the 5th string, the 7th fret on the 4th string, and the 6th fret on the 2nd string. And the strings we're actually playing for this are the 5th, the 4th, and the 2nd. Then play the 2nd again with your first finger taken off. So that's... To get to the A minor 7th shape, you fret the 7th fret on the 6th string, the 7th fret on the 5th string, the others are open, and you play the strings 6, 5, 4, 3 in order. And finally, to get the G shape, you can take what you did for an F and slide it up to. Okay. We don't actually need to fret on the first finger. So we're actually fretting on the fifth string, the tenth fret, and the fourth string, the ninth fret. And we're gonna play the strings six, five, four, three in order. So I'll play that slowly through, putting it together. Okay, she would play on the on the studio version, she would play that through twice. So you'd get something like she'd start singing. The actual um, verse has a slightly different um, pattern for the F chord. Where we were playing like that, she changes it to, so it's basically get rid of your first finger, leave the rest there and play the strings five, four, three, two in order. So if I just play a pattern of that one. You'll, you'll find that um, there, are, um, there are clips of her playing live and she tends to do it slightly differently live. Um, I'll show you 
a slight difference. So she might, and it tends to be around this F shape, you might get something like this. just come up to the second. Nice sound. Okay. Um, and the final final part of the singing is um, let me just run through it. shape again, or what I've called rather, um, and we're picking out the strings, so that's strings 5, 4, 3, 1, and that's sliding up, and maybe strumming strumming all the, the strings, maybe not the top string, it sounds a bit overdone. Leave that to your choice. So. so, put it all together and you get something like this. <laughs> 